Jackson, you look so majestic. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hey everyone, I hope you're having an amazing day today in today's little video, a little day in the life of Jackson here, who's just on the ground right now. I want to be talking about the one trait that can make or break your decision on whether or not you want to get an Aussie doll. So stay tuned, but also stay tuned with us as we bring you throughout our day in the life of Jackson, who's sniffing his butt right now. All right, guys, let's get the day started. Jackson! Oh my gosh, Jackson, you look so cool with these lights. Dang, Jackson, you're so aesthetic. What are you doing? Jackson! How you go, boy? Jackson! You're so funny, man. You're so funny. Guys, look at how long his hair is getting. He's getting so fluffy. I'm starting to have to brush him every single day now, which is like good and bad, obviously. If you don't brush him, little tip for those owners that are just getting a puppy. If you don't brush him, he's gonna get mad at it and then you're gonna have to go to the groomers and they're gonna have to shave him. And I have a video on them shaving Jackson completely to the skin. And unless you like that look, I personally do not like that look, then I definitely recommend brushing out your dog every single day, even though it might not seem like he needs it, but it is very his coat is very high maintenance, these doodle coats. Look at this, he's so fluffy. Jackson, yay! So this Saturday, we are going to Oregon. I talked about this in our last video. Check it out if you haven't seen it already. I made a little teepee tent for Jackson. Really cool. But besides that, um, Jackson and I and Katie, we're going to Portland, Oregon, PNW, the Pacific Northwest. And um, it's gonna be so much fun. We're going to a dog-friendly hotel. Obviously, I'm gonna vlog the whole entire experience, but Jackson's excited, we're excited. And uh, yeah, I just can't wait. So stay tuned for that too. Two Jacksons. There are two Jacksons now. Look at yourself. He's had enough of me already, guys. <laughs> All right, you ready to go outside? Ready to go for a walk? <gasps> Jackson. Look at his little head tilt, guys. You ready to go for a walk? <gasps> yeah. Do you want? Do you want? Do you want to go for a walk? <gasps> Every time I like gasp, well, that's kind of weird. It's kind of like awkward that you see me in the background. But every time I gasp, or if I say the word do, does a little head tilt. I don't know why, but those words specifically makes him head tilt. So if you have an Aussie or a dog in general that tilts their head to a specific word, leave a comment down below what word that is. I'd love to know, but for Jackson, it is a little gasp. And then also it's the word do. Any sentence that starts with a do, he will tilt his head. And then also treat. Treat and ready. So those four, four little indicators, he'll tilt his head. Oh, back to uh, grooming himself, I guess. <laughs> All right, so we just moved to the pool next to our apartment, and this is the only gated area that's close to our apartment where Jackson can kind of roam around. And not gonna lie, guys, we're not supposed to be here. No pets allowed in this pool area. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of burning up, and it's only gonna get hotter as the day goes on. So we're not gonna stay here too long. Again, just to run around a couple laps around the pool, but I did want to talk about the one thing, the one Aussie trait that may sway potential Aussie owners, and I'm gonna talk about that right now. So the one personality trait that can be a lot for many owners if they are not prepared or if they are not, they don't know what they're gonna get in, themselves into is the hurting instinct, the hurting trait of an Aussie So what do I mean by that? So, so Aussie they have this natural instinct to hurt animals, sheep, you name it. And how they do that is by nipping at their ankles and kind of like director, directing them to a specific area. So growing up, Jackson would nip a lot. He would bite a lot. 
and with that have a ton of energy when he was a puppy. And even to this day, he has a lot of energy compared to other dog breeds. There are countless stories and countless images to in my Osseo Facebook group. The link is in the description. I'm a little side plug here. Of puppies biting and almost like scratching and ripping skin off of their owner's arms just because they just want to play and that's just all they know and the owners just don't know how to curb that behavior, stop that behavior, prevent that behavior. Without training them, it becomes out of control and once they grow up to an adult, that's all they really know. Jackson's having so much fun. Look at him. Yay, boy. Jackson! Yay! Good boy! You might think, oh, it's just like puppy biting, puppy teething, and stuff like that, but I, I'm telling you, man, like they will bite you, and like again, at the end of the day, like it's not their fault because they just don't know. <gasps> Hi, Jackson. Hi, go boy. You're so funny. So I tell this all the time in my videos that if you are not up for that, if you're not up to, if you don't know how to curb that, it is a lot. And another thing that's kind of like overlooked is how much energy Aussie Utils have. Aussie Utils have a ton of energy, mainly because they need that energy to naturally be on the farm and, and do all these tasks. So if they are not mentally stimulated or physically exercised, then they will be destructive, they will be stubborn, they will, if not trained properly, they'll destroy the house, they'll chew on anything. So if you want a cuddly, chill dog that just will sleep all day, I definitely don't recommend getting an Aussie Util. But don't get me wrong, guys, besides that instinct, if you can overcome that and be prepared for that, there's a ton of videos out there, videos on how to stop that too on my channel if you want to prepare yourself if you're planning on getting an Aussie Doodle. But the other pros, I just want, I don't want to leave this with just like a negative, but the pros of an Aussie Doodle, they are very loyal, they're very dedicated, devoted, and at the end of the day, all they really want to do is just please their owners. They're also known as like a Velcro dog, meaning like they're always be by your side no matter what. And for me personally, like that's all I ever want in a dog. A best friend that will give unconditional love to me despite anything, obviously See, that's what unconditional means. Jackson will always be by my side no matter what and just who I am as a person I'm very clingy and a needy person and so having that by my side it really, it really fulfills that for me. <laughs> Look at Jackson just sniffing around. Jackson, 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 you're so fluffy. Jackson, I go boy. Oh. Jackson, <gasps> what is that? Yay! Yay for Jackson! We're not gonna stay here too long, but just wanted to come out here and again with all that high energy kind of depleted a little bit throughout the day. So we're gonna go inside soon. I know Aussie Utils, they're not that popular right now, but I can see them on the rise. If you are thinking about getting an Aussie Util, how did you find that breed? Per se, that mix, and also to why do you want to get an Aussie Doodle? I'd love to know in the comment section down below. If you have an Aussie Doodle already, leave a comment down below what you love about them. I think for potential Aussie Doodle owners, so people that are thinking about getting an Aussie Doodle, I think it is very important to do your research on what this breed can bring to your lifestyle and to your life. And because again, if you're not prepared, it can be a disaster and it can be a lot. So definitely do your research and hopefully my videos can really inspire you and give you a little bit of a glimpse of what your daily life could be. I know a lot of people, they comment sometimes like, how did you get Jackson so calm and chill? I'm not gonna lie guys, in these videos he is calm and chill, but what you don't see sometimes is that he can have the zoomies, he can be crazy. And um, the reason why he's so calm is because I, I trained him at a very young age to have that habit of being calm and chill. But don't get me wrong, guys, like he can be crazy up even to this day. And he's two years old, so yeah. Jackson, what are you doing? Jackson! Sniff in the pool, guys. He's sniffing the pool. Jackson! Hi, good boy. Jackson. Oh, coming up. You coming up in here? Coming up in the shade? Jackson's coming in the shade, guys. Look at him. Yay, for Jackson. Yay. But yeah, guys, that concludes today's short little video. I just wanted to talk about this one trait because a lot of people can overlook the fact that they are very, they have this herding instinct and they have a ton of energy. They might be cute, they might look cuddly, they, look like, they might look like a fluffy teddy bear, but behind all that is just a, a ball of energy. 
and if you not if you don't properly exercise them daily and make put that into the routine then it could be a disaster as a reminder please hit that like button as it really helps in the youtube algorithm and if you're new here welcome please hit the subscribe button too as it really means a lot to jackson and me if you aren't part of our awesome dual lovers slash owners facebook group the link is in the description all i ask is just no promoting or selling your puppies i just want this to be a place to share tips tricks and ultimately the joy of Aussie Eagles. Tell your dogs you love them, Jackson, I love you. Stay tuned for the Portland vlogs or the Oregon vlogs. I'm so excited for that trip. It's gonna be amazing. So yeah, and also if you are watching till the end, leave a comment down below and say, hi Jackson. That'll, that'll, that'll tell me that you guys are watching till the end. You guys are the true fans out there. We'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Say peace, Jackson. Jackson. What are you doing? This whole video is you grooming yourself, Jackson. Inside and outside.